Hello sweeties. Let's play. Let's get messy and have some fun and go on an adventure. Are you in? Grab your coffee. You're gonna need it. Hello sweeties. Let's play. Let's do something with this four page, four picture per page thing. I had this idea a while back and I just for whatever reason haven't got to it yet. So I sat down the other night and this is what I worked on. Oh, <laughs> apologies, that's my, one of my throwing knives. Um, I like to sit in the front yard and hawk knives at a tree. It's an old dead tree, so yeah. Now I've done one of these um, four pictures per page thing before and it really got out of hand quickly. I was like in a zone and didn't even realize all that I'd done um, as I was going. So this one I wanted to be a little more conscious of. Um, see I'm just finding some, uh, I think I went with a, a, it's not black, it's called pavement in, actually it's right here, let me see, in the folk art. Um, I just, I use folk art or apple barrel paints, usually apple barrel because I have more of those. Um, and I apologize, I'm saying um, I'm not awake yet. <laughs> Has anybody else not been sleeping, like, for a really long time now? Full moon energy and all that. Yeah, just blending the, the pavement and the grey together with my finger and just going to town. Slap paint on your page. I did um, use matte medium on the page before this. Uh, I figured you, you didn't need to see that part. I've done it a million times and I'll do it a million more. <laughs> This video is not as short as I wanted it to be, but um, it's only twice the speed. Whereas normally I, I like to speed them up to a good 500%, you know. <laughs> I like watching really, really sped up videos that just seeing what's going on and how it comes together quickly. Um, I don't know why. I, I do love them. I know not all of you are a fan, so I've only done it twice the speed so you can still see um, reasonably clearly what I'm actually doing. Probably also put music in the background as well for the quiet times, but I'll be popping in and out here letting you know what I'm doing. Just blending, just blending, no particular rhyme or reason at the moment, just knock it out that white because it was terribly distracting. Final look, see where we're at, call it. Baby wipes are your friend, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. And yeah, I'm notorious for getting paint all up my arm that I, even if I haven't really done anything yet, always get paint up my arm. Because we use matte medium, where I don't want the paint, I was looking at that pipe right there, I needed more of it, so I just wiped the paint right off. Um, I have done this on, on um, some of these pictures where the paint's been there a while, it's not just freshly added and it will still come off. You have to scrub it a little harder, um, but if you're very careful it will come off. 
Okay, all that dried. Gonna have a look, see where we're at here. And break out the Poscas. <laughs> I love Poscas, they're so cool. Okay, so I'm filling in uh, where the holes are in the floor there by the seals. drawing smoke but not really smoke and that last one cracked me up because it looked like it looked like big saggy boobs or something it was like oh my god what is that <laughs> uh, yeah but the last two there it was hilarious but I've kept it in there, so yeah. And then filled in all the bits for the smokestacks that we did. I don't know how to get a better shot of that without my hand in the way. Um, yeah. Although I, I do try and, and paint or color things in on an angle. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get the idea of what I'm doing. That's all that matters because I want you guys to just do your own thing. Figure out what's awesome for you. Figure out what you like. Just play, 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 play. Play, play, play. Noticing the bigger tip, um, the bullet tips on the Poscas put down so much paint with so little effort that yeah, you can just do scribbly bits if you're going to fill something in and just blend it with your finger, just just spread it out with your finger. Um, otherwise, you have a ton of paint on there and it takes forever to dry. Okay, I shouldn't say forever; it, it takes a minute. And honestly, who's got the time? Blacking out the background behind the pipes so we could, um, I left the two, I think it was two of the tanks in, um, that you see to the sides but in the background there, but the rest I've, I've blacked out. And actually what I should do is open up that page while the video is going so I can tell you more about it if I need to. If I can find it again, what's up with that? Has anybody else noticed that in these books, you cannot find the one page that you need, like when you need it? Um, yeah, I have no idea. What, no idea where that was. Hmm. Okay, what are we doing? Still blacking that out? Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Spent a lot of time outside yesterday and I have like this tickly, sneezy thing going on today. There's so many pages to work on still. I thought I was doing really well. <laughs> really well. I haven't even started my June project yet that I wanted to share with you. Although I'm going to write a shoot schedule for it and we'll work on it. Because it's all going to be real time and stuff. Yeah, I cannot find that page now. That is bizarre. Okay, let's see. Oh, I started adding stars to everywhere we've, we've blacked out that's dry, so we can add our space. Oh, there it is. Add some galaxy there. 
I was going to flick um, we water down a little bit of the white paint and flick stars but I really did just want it in the, the areas that are black so I just put them in with Posca. I don't like that effect near as much as flick and paint because there's something about the way that the paint falls that, that really is amazing for stars. Or snow, and I like to do that for snow, not that I've done any snow pictures in this book yet. I ought to though, huh? I had to stop, well, I, I stopped because the mister was having a, a blood sugar crash, so we uh, tended to that because, yeah, that's, it's always terrifying. I mean, he does really well, he's got it under control, but um, as far as being able to deal with it, it doesn't stress him out near as much as it does me, but it's always scary. undecided uh, in the mountains in the background. I really liked them and I like the way that the, the grey comes off the mountains just so. So I didn't know if I should leave that there. How much of that should I black out? I, I don't know. So I started at the bottom <laughs> at the bottom of that particular picture and just worked my way up from there. I find it's easier, it, it'll come to you if you uh, aren't sure on a particular area in a picture. Um, if you start on a different area, it, it just comes to you. Next time you look at it, it's like, oh yeah, that's, that needs to be done. Or I want to do that, or add that, or whatever. And yeah, still undecided. <laughs> I think I need to drop my camera a little bit so I can reach it easier without having to climb on my chair. Um, that way I can zoom this stuff in better for you guys. Because there's a whole lot of tiny details in that right there. I'm never sure how far to zoom in or, or how far out to be because um, I've noticed with a, a lot that zoom in really far um, I tend to lose the, the whole sense of the piece if I can't see the whole thing, you know? So close, but not like right on that one bit. I, I don't, it's very weird. Because it's not zoomed in enough and you can't see anything anyway, so it's like, I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> so yeah, just running around with the Posca and figuring out what I want to black out as to add galaxy to it all. Um, that was the how I tied all four pictures together was the galaxy that that was throughout. Yeah, just bounced, uh, did a little over here, a little back over there where it was dry, a little over here, a little over there. <laughs> Matte, medium, and baby wipes are your friend. I cannot stress this enough. <laughs> put a bit down it's like yeah no I'm not digging that and you get to wipe it right off it's magic here I am drawing um, from the tank in the top page there making a big elbow pipe to the pipe that goes across and then adding a pipe into elbow down into a funnel type shape um, or inverted funnel 
on the next page there. And again, just putting down some paint from the Posca and then just spreading it, spreading it out with your finger um, makes paint go further, so why not? <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, I didn't want my um, pipe to look as it did. I didn't want it to uh, really blend too much with the, the pipes that were there, so I went with different colors. Uh, well, more red than, than just rust colors. Although I, I do need to work on, on color blending and all of that. I really need to learn that. I never have taken the time. I just slap stuff down. I, I haven't really learned any of the technical stuff that I guess would be basics, honestly. I mean, I know what makes mud. That that I figured out pretty <laughs> pretty easy on my own. Although there's a way around making mud as well. And here I'm adding uh, the brown Posca, which I was stoked to have. It's like, oh, I have a color for this. <laughs> so fun. Um, So yeah, I put the, the black down to finish off the pipe there to connect all of that. And I put down brown Posca, come over it, put a little red. And I'm not going for total coverage, I'm going for more of um, a patina type effect. Ah! <laughs> Do not press down on your poscas on your page. I've done it a couple times now. It's like, dang it! So yeah, it's not, it's not good. And the reason we put the black and then the brown and then covered the whole thing, um, we're gonna wipe away some of this red so that the black and the brown peek through. And I gotta tell you, it's harder to do in a book uh, on, on paper here than it is on a vehicle because I can do um, epic patina look with paint and stuff and you sand back through several layers and, and that kind of thing and have different colors pop up and do it uh, on a vehicle. Um, so it looks like it's an old rusted type vehicle, but it's not. <laughs> So yeah, I can do that effect on other stuff, but doing it with craft paints in a book is a whole different beast. So I, I do want to practice that, but I don't know how much will go in these books. <coughs> Excuse me. Although in the abandoned racks, that might actually come in very handy. So yeah, it's just knocking back color here, knocking some back there. Um, and I could have taken it further, and I may come back and do some more with that, but... Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Okay. Oh, I think that's when the, the dog was chatting to me. He comes and sits and talks to me. He's very funny. Oh, I'll just add in some... Um, some browns and some red and other stuff just to time together a little bit. But yeah, I wanted that, that pipe to stand out more than, than the others. Uh, and here we've got some some galaxy pouring out of that pipe. going up the smokestacks, up through the, the picture in the top there, it's in the background, like it's collecting on the top right page into the, the pipe and then back down and it pulls into, pulls into the front of that uh, 
whatever that building was there, which I cannot remember. If I had it to do over again, I would have written down all the page numbers and the information that was on there about each place. Um, so I'd have a reference, you know, I could have done that in a smaller book and had a reference book that went with this book. Um, that would have been way smarter. I did not do that. So what I'm going to do eventually is, is get another Abandoned Places book and have it um, to refer to. <laughs> Okay, where are we at here? Oh, I finally made finally made a decision in the, the background here in the mountain. I went around the buildings and a little bit of the there's a smaller hill shorter part of the mountain before the big one. Okay, apparently I've wandered off again. Oh no, that could still be talking to Jane Cobb. Huh. Yeah, it's talking to puppies. Talking to puppies. So I'm just going around all the rooftops and then fill that in with Posca. playing with it just to kind of feather it out into the uh, painted border there um, and actually I like how that that all came together it, it looks pretty good when I get all the abandoned places book done um, I'll do a real-time flip through but I'll also do a video that's all pictures so you can really just see the page each page um, like a slideshow deal um, And if you're still new to doing these pages, they take time. They take a lot of time. <laughs> Anymore, if I can sit down and, and bang out a page in, I don't know, two hours maybe, then I'm doing good. I consider it doing good. That doesn't necessarily mean that page is finished. I can always come back and add more detail, add more pencil, add, add more anything. Um, but I've got it down to about two hours is a quick page, mostly. Okay, just adding dots for stars with different size Poscas, adding, I like the meteor shower um, when it comes to, you know, the, the comets and that kind of thing. I, I like a whole bunch of them. I've been privileged enough to be able to sit under the Milky Way during a meteor shower and I can't tell you how majestic it is. So yeah, I like meteor showers. <laughs> <clears throat> so I've got them everywhere, I do. So yeah, just give a bit of a flick with your Posca. Um, some of them have two tails, some of them just have one. Ok, 
Okay. Oh, she's coming together. It's just a little bit of fussing over here and a little bit of fussing over there. Having a look, it's like, oh yep, that, that door needs to be taken out there. So we did that. And yeah, I spent a lot of time talking to myself or just talking in my head but pointing and everything <laughs> so you're not actually missing out on anything when I'm doing that it's more of a what if or does this need or how would that look or we can do this or yeah okay There we go. Hopefully I remember to take that out. It's like two minutes of nothing. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like the videos that are sped up to 500%. You don't notice that so much. It just looks like a pause. But not for two minutes. And again, just going around, adding little bits, little bits, little bits. And yet this page was um, no added collage. I have not stuck anything down on this page except for matte medium and paint and pencil. I was working on a, a little nebula thing in the bottom there and man it gave me a rash and a tui. down Fosca here and there a little bit at highlights and let the dark stuff pop up. I wasn't happy with this one. The great big one I did um, with my butterfly lady. That one turned out beautifully and it's because I really wasn't trying. <laughs> this is what I was trying to do and doing them smaller. Yeah, not a fan of that either. So I'm just wandering about the page, adding some color here and there, and it's it's not real bright, it's just a, a little bit here and there. So, um, just enough to add, if you're looking up close, you can't really tell if you're not up close to it. Wandering about, adding some... Um, glows to the stars and that kind of thing. Back to the nebula. <laughs> He's coming in with, with darker colors to help the lighter ones pop, but 
just didn't look right, didn't look right, didn't look right. It's like, all right, I'm going to do something here. That's my thinking pencil. <laughs> my thinking pencil. Uh, let's see. Not, not quite there yet. Just adding layers and layers and layers. That's the part that takes the longest for me, is, is working with the pencils. Um, I know Dee Dee's got years and years and years of practice. I do not, and I can tell. <laughs> oh, that one, that, the pencil tip just come right out, so I just grabbed it, and I, that's what I'm using. I'm pinched in between my fingers, just a little bit of uh, pencil lead there. Just add in some, it's um, a maroon type color. Just, just a little bit here and there. Yeah, I, I got to that point where I don't know what else to do with the page. <laughs> I really don't. And it's funny, this is happening a lot actually. If I go, okay, that's probably about it. I'll put the date down, have a final look, and then something inevitably comes to me. So, I took off again. <laughs> oh. And yet this stuff, this, this whole water thing is gonna turn up on everything you guys, like everything, whether it needs it or not. Like, holy cow. I love to do it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm about out of coffee. That's not good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I love playing in the yard. I should do. I love outside. Yep, just, and this, this part. I can do this all day, honestly. It's so cathartic. Just absolutely brilliant for just calming and being at peace and just playing. And yeah, that also takes layers and layers to build up so it catches more and more of the paint. Um, Put some down, drag it down the page. I'm getting better at thinking what angle it needs to be on. I used to just drip it down the page. It's like, oh, that, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, the bug had bit me and off I went and put it everywhere. <laughs> but I've done it far more muted in the background buildings, which are uh, really did come out well because they're way small in the background so yeah it doesn't really look like much on the video but it <laughs> it did come out okay Just put some down and drag it down the page. Oh, that's right, I did it um, running off the top of the tanks there. see. Okay, this is a part of the voiceover where I'm like, I'm bored. <laughs> so bored. 
Uh, oh, I did it in, that's right. That's right, I remember. It's weird looking at uh, the video of, of the process of it and then looking at the finished page and going, okay, I don't know which bit I did next. Uh, yeah, I had left that wall in the background there, which, uh, it, it was so bright, I didn't know what else to do with it, but I'd run uh, the white Posca down as for sheeted water, you know, sheeted water. Yeah, the more, the more I added to it, the more I was like, well, yes, but, and it just keep adding, keep adding. Uh, I'll wait for the big one. See how much more paint the, the big bullet tip adds? So much more paint. You still have to do several layers, but you, yeah, it's way better with the big one. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and yeah, just down the page, a little here. It's like, no, I don't like it. Add a little more, a little more. Things got out of hand at this point. <laughs> uh, it's fun though, I, I actually like it, so yeah. May not be your cup of tea, but I'm digging it. Yeah, just do a little bit off the buildings just to keep uh, keep the theme throughout. There was already snow on the uh, rooftops in, in this bottom picture here, so that made sense anyway. But yeah, started uh, adding bits and, and going around and around and around. Sometimes they sit where you want them to, and other times they really don't. So, <laughs> either run with it or wipe it off and go again. I didn't want it on the wheel. I was trying to keep it behind the uh, the big turn wheel there. Oh, what are those called? It's a gate, essentially. Um, Butterfly valve is probably in there, I imagine. Could be ball valve, I'm not sure. But yeah, the big wheel handle for those. And then yeah, looking at the top there, it's like now that's way, way too bright. So I want to do more galaxy, as you do. So I did uh, just throw down some Posca where the, um, the hole in the floor was in the background there. down all around the page so the galaxy just keeps feeding itself you know I do need to do something under those seals they're really hard to see they were in the shade anyway and they're the perfect camouflage for the room that they're in oh, there we go that was a better shape I think Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, just running through with Poscas, the white Poscas in different sizes here. Um, throwing down some more stars. on a planet. Oh, I don't know if that's in real time. That looks real time. I don't know. That's so weird you can't even see those ones. <laughs> you can in the picture, it's fine. Yep, just running through. Adding stars, adding meteor type dealies. Put my one little planet there. One of these days I'm going to get a circle punch. And, uh, or a couple different size circle punches. I think that would be... That would be a good plan, because I suck at cutting a circle. Even if I draw it and or trace around something and then try and cut it, I always bugger it up. <clears throat> Kindergarten skill fail. <laughs> Here I was playing with the idea with um, if you put down enough paint from the the Poscas, they do this blend together type thing. So that I was tickled with. Getting it just so was, was a whole other thing. I was putting it on my um, paper just off frame there at the bottom edge, just putting paint down and I could play with everywhere else. So I could add more paint, but not like blob all over the whole page. <laughs> yeah, I was playing playing off camera there. Uh, and just looking, trying to figure out how to layer the colors to sit just so for the nebula and stuff. You put it on, you take some off, you put it on, you take some off, you put it on, you take some off. get it at various stages of, of starting to dry, you can move it um, you can make an interesting edge um, I'm learning but as far as nebulas go, it, it looks pretty cool is almost there. I have just a little bit of color. I 
and yeah, just staring at it, not sure what to do next, or if it needs anything else, or I don't know. <laughs> I tend to get to that point where it's like, I think it's done for the moment. Oh, I had a bug. I had a bug. Just a little stupid bitey bug. No see him fly thing, but man, drive me crazy. I love you. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.